Yeah, they're getting after it this morning. Looking for a reason to jump into the ocean and take a dive? Then today's the perfect opportunity for Women's Dive Day. Sabrina Silva joins us live with more on the local Girl Scouts that agree. Now, Sabrina, we're excited about this. You're about to take a dive. All right, guys, this is the, probably the nicest I've looked on this show. I mean, check this mask <laughs> out. I, I'm ready to go swimming with the fishies <laughs> this morning. We all are. And we're going to teach you a thing or two. But first, we want to talk about the reason that they're holding this event right here in Folsom. Now, you guys have been doing here. I'll take the thank you so much. We're trying to be all safe here because we don't want any of the equipment getting wet. But, um, you know, you guys are having all of the Girl Scouts coming out here and learning um, how to dive and teaching them a thing or two. Why is specifically the Girl Scouts? Well, the uh, scuba industry is heavily male-dominated, and as I travel the world, it becomes very obvious. Uh, so this was just a way to let local girls experience scuba diving. Maybe it's something they've never thought of, and see that, you know, women actually do this not only recreationally, but as a career as well. Yeah, and we actually have a couple of uh, college students here um, that are pursuing this, are, are looking to maybe make this a career in the future, which is wonderful. Um, and as you can see, the Turnout is great here this morning. All of these girls seem to be having such a great time. And um, you guys are planning to hopefully continue this for years to come, correct? Yes, yes. We have about 40 girls signed up today. We have gifts and food and stuff inside for them and presentations. And we'll take them through a Discover Scuba so they get to see what it's like to breathe underwater. Nice. And I'm going to learn that today, a thing or two. It's very simple. But we have, we have some equipments here that are very heavy. And, uh, and I had to even like walk. I have fins on and I had to walk like really, really funky. Um, <laughs> so that was fun. But, you know, why all of this for you to go underwater? Uh, most of it is safety gear. The vest is designed to help you control your buoyancy in the water, whether you sink or float. You want to get a, a neutral buoyancy, so you just sit there and hover. Very comfortable, very relaxing. Obviously, the mask makes it so you can see. Uh -huh. The fins make a big difference in being able to move yourself through the water compared to just your regular feet. So that's it all has a basic purpose for it. All right. Well, guys, you hear that. I'm getting ready to learn how to go down here, hold my breath, and feel comfortable underwater. So we'll show you guys that as we tag you out. So I'll put the this mic over here. All right, guys. You ready? Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, I wish I could narrate what's going on, but I have no idea. Go ahead, Ash. The breathing is actually the most difficult, but here's the thing. Once you get comfortable with the breathing, it's almost therapeutic once you're actually underwater. You're focusing on taking your breaths once you're under, and that's the one thing you're focusing on. Have, so, you, have you been trained in this before? I have, a, a few different times, actually. Really? Well, I know a lot of times if you're on vacation and you um, take one of these